And now Fletcher with my boarded work with him. And now to keep the flow going, I'm going to pass the floor to the one and only, the chief editor of the Harbinger's Picture Asylum. And this year's winner of the Water Round Tour, give a nice warm welcome, a nice warm counter crawl welcome to my good friend, and why? So take the floor, it's all yours. I'm done. Go. Hey, how the job? job. Yeah, so as Chris was saying before, I picked up this hitchhiker on the way, and, uh, well, you gotta uh, when you hit him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, to start this off, um, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to read the three-part piece uh, that I wrote a while back. It's called uh, Accidental Purposes, a three-part poem on the tripolar life cycle. <laughs> Part one, state of euphoria. Soul food is the diet of the spirit. Spirit of the diet, that's the spirit. Keep it up, dedicated soul consumer. Money does not buy happiness, but it can buy survival and balance, contrary to popular beliefs spoken by woodland inhabitants. If one's heart is on fire, only the devil can help you out. Do you remember how hell on earth was created? So-called civilization, so-called people, the top of the food chain. There is no hell. Earth is hell, its own self-induced, self-fulfilling prophecy. We are the end of the world. We are the accident-prone choice makers. We need somebody to love. Somebody to hold your tears, shedding effortlessly as a canine would on days such as this. Humid Tartarus, prostitutes in the form of mosquitoes, puddles that fire ants immediately drown in, their months of building shelters wasted away by one weasel-sized thrust of a child's foot. One man's shithole of an environment is another man's state of euphoria. One woman's guillotine anger is another woman's then realization. One child's territory mark is another child's limitless imagination. Running rampant with the freedom buffalo, the silent sniper panther, the loyalistic wolf, all headed towards the mythical unheard of state of euphoria. Euphoria, where the term overjoyed is merely an understatement for lucky to breed with you. <laughs> Euphoria, where the civilization lives up to its reputation without causing a mass turmoil spill. Euphoria, where every negative feeling dissipates like a magic that you jump so quickly to disbelieve. Euphoria, where every lady finds that horse riding knight in shining armor before Cinderella's clock strikes. Euphoria, with its capital of nirvana and centralized city of sublime. Euphoria, with its debugged realism and social inequities maxed out. Euphoria, with its one core mind and way of the wolf. Euphoria, with its accidental purposes and aquatic fires set ablaze. Let this information sink in, droogs of the day and naughty numbers of the night. I live in the state of euphoria. I represent everything positive outside of Earth, our world of wallflowers, ripped from their individual stems and pronounced as bricks. They are bricks, and the cataclysmic system quaking under a seismic toss of the salad, an erupting pop of the cherry. What would life be like under a hormonal range of commands? This is our last hurrah, our last stand, our finest hour, our final number, our final kiss. I live in the state of euphoria, where the grass is green on every side. Would you call this utopia? Nay, for the wrong pair of trousers will delightfully turn this into a dystopian dungeon, the way S&M people like it. Not that that's a bad thing. I live in the state of euphoria, child. I live in the state of euphoria. I am not afraid to voice it, to pronounce and project it to every newcomer the way a telephone recruiter would. I live in the state of euphoria, you oblivious drop bum preserves. You unbelievable sods who choose to use such vulgar language at any given moment. Curb that fucking shit. For first impressions are what matter the most in this extremely delectable life. I live in the state of euphoria, traveling across Nirvana's waters of inviting handshakes. Dreams are the only form of devilry here. The corpulent dream of being slender and the slender simply smiles. 
I live in the state of euphoria, seeking subliminal messages, the fine print of fortune cookies. What can astrology provide a skeptic besides coincidences and predictions that will never come to pass, no matter how many prayers reach the tip of the iceberg? I live in the state of euphoria, so please do not judge yours truly, your only ally whom denial grasps in one hand firmly while the other partakes in a crude masturbation fix. I live in the state of euphoria, laughing at all who declare this place is an urban legend, a modern myth of the times. I live in the state of euphoria, with no questions asked, no offers refused, and no risks taken. I live in the state of euphoria, nothing can stop me now. One of these days I shall take your turn and use it to my full advantage. Life is a party, right? No responsibilities or obligations? I live in the state of euphoria crowning the best couple as faithful king and queen of themselves, for no one should obtain such power to rule over a body of red-blooded humanity, much less a signed document stating the following, Oh yes I can, suck on this. <laughs> I live in the state of euphoria, constantly playing the works of Mozart, Bach, Vivaldi, Beethoven, Strauss, Prokofiev, Tchaikovsky, Haydn, and every stereotypical classical performer on this untimed playlist. Far be it from me to attempt the craft. I live in the state of euphoria, engaging in cordial conversations with the corpses of Chaucer and Spencer, asking them what source or spark inspired them in the long run that we call life, otherwise known as the big picture. I live in the state of euphoria, eavesdropping on every unnecessary dialogue from the interior of a wine bar, ambiance, non-smoking, and deemed an exaggeration. I live in the state of euphoria, the land of exquisite etiquette. Hold your breath, hold her hand, speak crystal clear words. In the midnight hour, gossiping grasshoppers play the role of hallway children. I live in the state of euphoria, where the bears have the right to arm you for their own protection. Animal equality or hit the road to reality. Your friends of betrayal are waiting for a hug. I live in the state of euphoria. The statement may never lost its secular meaning, for it has kept me going and being myself and making love to my heart's half and drawing you all in. I live in the state of euphoria, when the cluster of claustrophobic closets clean house. The paintings on the wall will resume their active but still life. The fruit stays ripe to your eyes only. I live in the state of euphoria, even if I am the sole proprietor of this fine establishment. A ghost town that shrugged its shoulders and gave up just as the Lorax sadly did. I live in a state of euphoria. Oh, wealth of indiscretion, do not tempt the table of time. As heavy as a burden as a fictional ring of battle, take this under advisement. Celebrate life, not the power alone. I live in a state of euphoria, where natural selection is promoted until you are all blue in the mouth. We all have the honor of choosing our forever mate and bear children with distinct pleasure. I live in a state of euphoria. I hold its womb flesh hands like the newborn it portrays itself to be. Fuck the media and third parties. The horse's mouth speaks the truth. I live in a state of euphoria, and the state of euphoria lives within me. As a hopeless romantic, as a natural born poet, as an animal lover, as a nostalgic old soul, as an enthusiast for sanity, as a protector of absolutes. I live in the state of euphoria. I live in the state of euphoria, repeats the echo that narrates every verbal and physical action of my prophetic life. He walked towards her, took her hand, caressed her heart, and made her his everything. Thank you. Part two, Night Terrors. What is this all too real pain in the side of my chest? What is this nausea that Jack, whom no one knows of, would experience this time of night? What is this burning from the inside of my heart after the breaking, shattering, and splitting deaths it went through? What is this backstabbing motion that my ex-friend turned enemy to be with the lady candidate? What is the bloodletting at the cost of one night with the fairest in the land? What is this drum pounding that happens inside the skull's platform? What is this napalm-fearing child doing crying in the fields of sacrifice? What is this ringing at midnight, this lecherous hour of climaxing on the dock with a stranger in the dark? Night terrors! 
After our physical tantrum, cursed by the awakening of shallow waters and the marine plans, destroying the angels, night terrors, night terrors of religious and political hypocrisy, claiming that the two factors shall keep us civilized and well-behaved. Night terrors of you, breaking my heart in slow motion for your twisted pleasure and egotistical strategies. Night terrors of teeth, gnashing away endlessly as Stephen King's Langoliers did following the boogeyman's warning. Night terrors of falling, feeling your body drop a thousand miles and no one will hear you scream. Night terrors of racial supremacy, wishing that xenophobia would commit suicide and wake up to the realization that we are all one species. Night terrors of self-mutilation, perfecting the rise of the mini violin and pity party to boot. Night terrors of war, hold me closer, death machine, until the mouth of shells spills on the country. Night terrors of poverty, hunger and thirst have been taken for granted, but isolation has replaced the fever. Night terrors of animal cruelty, how would you like to be abused without any means of self-defense while lacking the ability to speak? Night terrors of loss. When the family nest is kaput and your friends have flown, who then will you turn to? Night terrors of crashing, whether by automobile accident, airplanes downward spiral, or the helpless feeling of contradictory makes its grand entrance. Night terrors of infidelity. Where did I go wrong? You had my heartbeat and hexed my future intentions of love. Night terrors of time. We do not have all of this in an ideal world, hence every pounding of the snooze button. Night terrors of darkness. What you cannot see frightens your newly grown ivory hair, aside from the heavy breathing behind you. Night terrors of limbo. What did we not finish during life's nine to five intimate weeks? Only every regret you have recorded. Night terrors of cockroaches. Leave the key to survival to these crawlers that shiver our spine and remove our sense of speech. Night terrors of traitors, the beloved allies we once knew, stripped of our respect completely in order to fulfill an asinine task. Night terrors of no music. Should the galactic dome be cursed with only chatter and not a single dulcet tone to guide our creative taste buds? Night terrors of lost causes, finger snaps of regret, Face palms of I wish I would have told her how I felt. Night terrors of the future. Who knows what sort of inexplicable changes lie ahead, especially for a person whose routine always remains the same. Night terrors of the unexplained. What paranormal forces emanate from this moment? Silver dollar pickup is not in the cards at this time. Night terrors of no significant other. What if the legend of the assortment of fish in the sea was a fabrication and the candidates are all tuna? searching for that one true shark. Night terrors of myself. Without any improvement, my reflection shall scream with this Medusa-proof hammer, flash the executioner's words, and get rid of the pardoned corpse, throwing it in the ground where it belongs. Thanks. And part three, love's perpetual reign. Teach me your ways, O oh mistress of misled mystery. How do I cloud my own past and present without walking straight into a nightmarish field of peril? Forget all tension stirring in your entire being. Do not overanalyze. For once, do not even utter a single syllable. Relax, my child, and love will show us how. Hark! The celestial voice hath spoken. Courageous cast of the cellar, bliss is on the other side when Gaia's work takes its course. Your tantalizing heart has the beat, the rhythm, the, mil- the melody, the lyrics like a fresh song. Oh my good goddess, I can dance to this tune for the rest of my life. Care to join me in our first waltz, blushing pink rose girl? Our bodies breathe in the method of love. What the world needs now is love. Do not forget this soul-gasmic word. Love, can you feel it under your breast tonight? Can you feel its prism-like presence floating towards the candidates you have your eye on? What the world needs now is love, harmony, camaraderie. Your stable smile, your luxurious lips, and your voracious voice turn this light bulb all the way on. Run up the electric bill and spread this good word to your neighbor, your master, your sobriety, your, your nobility, your only grain of salt. 
the word of love, the word of love, the game of love, the symbol of love, the power of love, the song of love, the poem of love, the dance of love, the kiss of love, the touch of love, the ever fruitful union of love. We don't need a Merriam-Webster definition. We just need a vow, a promise, a confirmation. We just need a prayer, a miracle, a vision, an entrance to love itself. Your love holds no limits, no laws, no corny justification for the gestating cynics of Pandora's box. Your love reveals your inner mind, your inner senses, your inner beauty, which matters just as much as an external shell. Your love is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, an infantile flower, a privilege and an honor to be with you. Your love climbs hills of hilarity, mountains of madness, ladders of lurking lakes, walls of waterworks and dimensions of delusion. Your love reminds me of a siren song. Time ceases everywhere. Stampedes make their presence known. Your love, like a flask of fermented grape, doth not disturb the sweetness is preserved within. Dominance preludes to guilt, but time eludes holy fantasies. Your love cannot replace our brightest star, our fretting moon, our boost with two backs. Your love dries away a monsoon, clears away a mist, melts away a blizzard, liquefies a wildfire, shakes back an earthquake. I would live for you. I would call upon the face for you. I would set the sun for you. I would bring the moon to you. I would balance the chances for you. I would change my name for you. I would marvel at stones for you. I would cross the line for you. I would die for you. I would take a bullet for you. I would tiptoe on Mount Everest peak for you. I would set the world on fire for you. I would walk on lava for you. I would run swiftly a thousand miles for you. I would do that and oh so many other obnoxious obstacles for your heart, your hand and word, your commitment, blessing, your breath on my neck. I live in and for the state of euphoria. I live for the end of night terrors. I live for the thrill of the future. I live for the hard times. I live for the paid off minutes. I live for life's next day. I live for tomorrow because you are there waking up beside me. I live for you. I live for. I live. I. Thank you. How am I doing on time, Chris? Uh, good. Okay. Oh boy. I don't think I'll go that long. Um, I had it and then I lost it. What she said. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, All right, this is a shorter three-part piece on our, where is it? Oh, she's not out yet, but Luna is going to appear soon, so. Uh, it's called, a, ah, there, somewhere. All right. So this is called uh, Moon Phrases. New, infantile, weeping for the stars of congestion, so their melancholy distance intrigues Atlas beneath, waxing crescents, smiling, Carol's feline manifestation follows the sister North Star, a guide across ruins of primordial mysticism. First quarter, raucous, one-fourth of our year of instantaneous amusement fulfilled under a crystallized sky, an assortment of flaming potpourri, waxing gibbous, developing intangible faces, fly as, an, as eager as an entrepreneur in utero, Womb of the real estate, location, location, location. Full, insanity, pacing to and fro as the cerebral cortex lusts after bed sheets of perspiration and first her, then the world dominant. Waning gibbet, even, from out of sight, two effervescent sides erupt the importance of disengaging from the cycle. Last quarter, comprehensive, cloud nine, and the ether of aliases, part ways with Luna, our illuminating mother. Waning crescent, fading, out of focus, dissolve into anatomical matter, whisked away into nothingness. 
Hope for the Ebony Eclipse, Black Rose only knows. Only on the left dimension can you agree, placed in the intricate knowledge that the transcendent moon is one with me. When your wolves of loyalty howl with fierce delight, both goddess and huntress know that the translucent moon is both my power and my might. Mad moon men dancing to the beat of a doper realist. Mad moon men wishing that the evening would dine on confusion that seep through an antique. Mad moon men taking no gravity for granted. Mad moon men spawning skeptics of what happened on the spherical throne of excellence. Mark the history, retrieve the evidence, power of the dark, rounded out in, ep in an epilogue, begging the creator to take pity, show mercy, be afraid to dare, dare to call out the name of the mad movement. As we hang about, no reason to hold back a single doubt. The planet queen had done us wrong when she realized that the man on the moon was inside us all along. Thank you. And then, uh, just one more. Okay. <laughs> this last one is, uh, based on the, uh, on one of the many symbols of our world. And it's supposed to re represent the world of balance. All the four morals. And uh, I'll wait. All right. Ouroboros. And the dragon spins around and around, balancing revolution. War on life as we know it hurdles through the cosmos, breaks through the adolescent barrier and lands before our eyes and willful fingertips. We are what we are, motivated to slaughter and incinerate. And the dragon spins around and around, balancing our allotted amount of air, craving a flesh as we picture it, eating away as an internal parasite would, dilate the peoples and fight back. The Greek world began in chaos, but ours will end in a complete convulsion. The lovers give it and the lovers take it away. And the dragon spins around and around, balancing head and body count. Let the search unfurl. Red flag, white towel, blue in the mouth, yellow like the interior amphibian, sexual charade on a wooden floor underneath Neil's mirror ball, or tribal dance around a campfire of nativity. Read, read the digital news today, oh boy. <laughs> when the wyvern bites the tail, all is well in the electric current. When the wyvern watches the skies, aware of seven billion well-beings, all is glistening just north of mystical embodiments of life now. Sigh of disbelief, you still have us for a thumb-sucking undertow. And the dragon spins around and around, balancing a closet rebellion. Thank you much. That's all.